Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Firelight 457 and welcome to Longly Waited System Test Number 18 of my Firelight MS9600 UDLS Addressable System. So anyways, let's get started. The system test was requested by Vintage Fire Alarm Guy. And so, for NAC 1, he requested the Simplex 2901-9838 behind the 2903-9101. And then over here, NAC 2, he requested the Federal Signal 450D behind the Space Age AV32. Both of these devices are doing four wire operation and um, the light on the Space Age AV32 will just be flashing steady. As I said, I do have these, the light and the strobe on the NACs connected to the strobe circuits, which they will be doing audible silence. And then down, down here for the first conventional pull station, he requested the Simplex 4251-20. And coming over here, he requested the Pyrotronics MSM KD, but I, I just have the rms one t still up because it's basically the same thing as the Pyrotronics MSM KD. Which I think I will be pulling this one first today. And I hope to be using the enunciator today as well. And I wonder here I got the Firelight SD365, which we will be testing today with Smoke Saber. Here I got the H365R, which I will not be testing today. Over here, got the Simplex 2098-9805, which again I will not be testing today. We will, be we will be testing the supervisory system at the end of the video. Coming out here in the hallway, I got the Notifier MBG12LX, which I will be pulling today. Up here connected to the MP3 board, I got the E70 speaker strobe. The strobe is connected to NAC4 on the strobe circuit, which the strobe will be continue to flash when the strobe, when the system is silenced. In the bathroom, it's got the same old Willock RSS. This will not be changing. That strobe is just put that right there is part of the main system which again I'm just focusing on the addressable system today so, the speaker will be doing a high low tone doing the high low tone and yeah I plan to get a low frequency sounder base to go right here for an addressable detector head and right here I'm putting to put a fixed temperature heat detector right here but again the addressable fixed temperature heat detectors by firelight they're able to be tested with a magnet so I won't have to struggle with them bringing my hairdryer out here because the hairdryer will not work on a fixed temp heat detector all right well, that's enough chit chat. So now we're going to go ahead and activate the fire alarm. Now, before I activate the system, again, please do not pull fire alarms in real buildings or tamper with any life safety equipment out in public. I'll not be responsible for your actions if you choose to do so. Please do not watch if you have epilepsy to flashing strobes or lights. The system, both an X, the horns are going to be doing march time, and the lights and the strobe and the light would just be flashing continuous. 
since again I have both of the devices on four wire operation. By the way, coming down here you see all those more wires going into the MP3 board. That's because I tied in my main system with the MP3 board. The speaker will play a different tone whenever the 4064 system is activated. But again, I'm just focusing on the 9600 system today. So, yeah. All right, to start things off today, we're gonna go ahead and pull the RMS-1T. So, we're just gonna do what it tells, what it says to do. Just lift and pull. Headphone users, I recommend that you turn down your volume. Yeah, here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Forgot to mention that I have the alarm relay on my 9600 system. It's able to be programmed as silenceable, so the speaker on the E70 will automatically shut off when I silence the system. All right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and reset the pulp, the MSM KD. I'm sorry, the RMS1T, and I'll get. We'll go ahead and pull the 4251-20. And let's just go ahead and reset from the Annunciator. I will show the audible silence on the E70 after I pull the 4251-20. All right, now that the system is reset, we're going to go ahead and pull the Simplex 4251-20. Here we go in three, two, one. Again, coming out here in the hallway, the strobe on the E70 continues to flash as it is on the NAC4 circuit, which is non-silenceable. And I'm coming out here in the bathroom, got the Wheelock RSS flashing. And both of the strobes on the RSS and the E70 are on 15 Candela because that's just what I like it on. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull the MBG-12 LX. Here we go.
now we're just going to go ahead and reset the pull stations. Now that post pull position is reset, we're just going to go into the main fire alarm control panel and we're going to hit system reset. All right, now that the system's now back to normal, we're just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of smoke saber into the SD365 and we'll get it to activate. So, just going to go ahead and spray the smoke saber in five, four, three, two, one. I just had to clear the detector head out. Hopefully that all that smoke saber is cleared out now. We're just going to go ahead and hit system reset. All right, now I'm just going to make sure that the detector doesn't go off again and then I'll get back to y'all shortly. It looks like we're all good. All right, now to end off the video, I'm going to go ahead and activate the supervisory system. You just insert the RTS-151 key into the RTS-151 test switch, and I just accidentally knocked off my machine screws, so I'm sorry about that. But we're just going to turn it to test, and the red LED will show up and that gray bell will ring. This is going to be loud, so this is just going to be quick. Alright, well this is going to do it for System Test 18 of the Firelight MS9600 UDLS Addressable System, everybody. Special shout out to Vintage Fire Alarm Guy for requesting this setup. Be sure to check him out. If you'd like to request a system test on my addressable system or on my main system, as always, the description on what to do is going to be the description in this video. And it's also in the description in the, my collection video. And as always, be sure to check out my other Fire Alarm videos. I have tons of content out there you do not want to miss. Hit the like button, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.